Hey guys, James Wolf here, and today's another episode of 80 Days. Yes, I know I've been playing this a hell of a lot, and I know I just finished Series 1. Um, this isn't going up right after Series 1. I'm put. I'm going to be recording something else tonight too, but I'm going to record this first because it's the first thing I clicked on, and it's a bitch to get out of, so I thought I'd record. Ooh, I'm sorry, I just ate an apple, so I'm a little burpy. Um... Anyway, why don't we jump in for a series two and try and figure out a different fucking route that's not gonna uh, have us um, lose by over 20 days. I have entered into the service of a new gentleman. It would seem he is a gambling man. Ingle Studios presents... In association with, in association with Cape Guy. Cape Guy, directed by John Ingold and Joseph Humphrey. Script by Megan Janeth. 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 PC and Mac edition by Ben Nicholson. <laughs> United States, Canadian border. Eighty days. Let's go. Wait a minute, does this show? Oh, my God, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Oh my- No, it's not- it, It's not the Canadian border, it's- This is the exact- This is the route I took in the last series! Oh my god, so- it, they, they were joking, you- You really do take Trip after trip around the world And you can track Holy shit. <laughs> what is this one? It's so remote, it doesn't even have a fucking name. <laughs> um, I've been watching someone else play these. Uh, many a true nerd. Uh, John. And, um, John! I know you don't play it anymore, but... You can, you can buy the map, have the route put in, and then sell the fucking map. Free inventory space. Space. Um, London. Let's begin. <clears throat> I wish they had an, a new uh, start screen for when you redid this. My master returned home from the Reform Club in a strange, with a strange gleam in his eye. Pas petit. He sa uh, said, "He, we are going around the world. Pack my hunting rifle and my." E <laughs> my hunting rifle and my evening jacket. There is not a moment to waste. You, Pespatia, and have funds. I don't know what that means. If you like, I can search the web for. I said we are going around the world. Pack my hunting rifle and mighty my hunting rifle. And... I'm sorry. Siri decided to cut in. Hey, Siri. Fuck off. There's no need for that language. Ha! <laughs> ah. Uh... That brought a, that brought a genuine laugh to my uh, a cackle to my heart. Pack. Do this too. There we go. Uh, European. I may go from uh, Paris to. He wanted his evening jacket and his 45 caliber rifle. I'm going to try and keep the rifle throughout the... 
the whole trip. Uh, departs in 22 minutes. Jesus Christ. We left aboard the 825 from Charing Cross as the final whistle shrieked its warning. Our journey had begun. Seriously, no, we're asking for tickets. Paris. No, what do you know about Paris? I love the smell of the, the morning. Um, can we air Paris to Nice? Indeed, I met a man who used to talk about the Pyrenees Express from Paris to Nice. Nice to. Wait a minute. Let's let's. Oh. Well. I'm pretty sure I already discovered that, but nope. Wait a minute, do you not? What? Ah! I thought you were able to keep the the route and all that. The Amphitrite rattled along uh, narrow gauge rails to Dover, where its fins extended. So, so they do change some of the stuff the second playthrough around. Which, I mean, okay. Um, but, yeah. Its fins extended and, and it plunged directly into the channel. Mr. Fogg made no remarks as the dark water pressed against our windows. I thought it so marvelous at the time, but how many marvels were there still to come? <laughs> so, they do change the dialogue around when you play it a second and even a third time. It's just kind of like, okay, we're doing this again. So know what's going on sorry um, we splashed up onto the rails at Calais and closed the remaining miles to Paris uh, something quickly uh, according to today's paper Misha Fogg remarked the Orient Express now runs as far as Bucharest Uh, of interest to poor earnest and prim types a packet of crackers rather dry without cheese but they keep well driving cap how did the open road set uh, I need to buy a second um Um, explore. The Exposi uh, Exposition Universal um, sprawled over the ground. The da, 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 da. We have already seen this, so. In the Latin Quarter, struggling with every dwindling resources as the Persian siege war siege wore on, I had made a horse thickened with millet, sausages of rat with sauce, Robert, dog liver skewers, spices skewered cat with city grown mushrooms, gigots. Gigots of dog leg with sauce up 
Oh, that sounds horrible. <laughs> Oh, oh, which one do I do? I caught the animal myself. I had laid traps for rats in the catacombs beneath the city, chasing starving, sp spitting cats down to them alleyways, and wept when I shot bullets into their heads. Of uh, into the head. Ah. Oh. Oh, this is sad. I looked at I looked at the gleaming peaceful streets of Paris now and saw only war and siege. That was sad. <laughs> I'm sorry. But the, I can go right to Bucharest. Arriving Friday, so three days. Two hundred thirty bucks. We have the four thousand. <sighs> Why don't we try and find something to sell? In Copenhagen and I'm not really going to go to Copenhagen um, let's go Bucharest are you kidding me I clicked that button I would have been pissed if it had charged me for it and then said oh sorry it's not leaving till tomorrow <laughs> Because at that point, I would have been pissed. Let's get a hotel for the night. Come on. We took a hotel for the night. We will be comfortable here, Michel Fogg remarked. But traveling or in a yada yada yada... Perhaps still the surrounds of the hotel rich were most enjoyable. Yay! If I ever, for any reason, had the money and the ability to, we boarded our train at uh, Gare de Lyon, uh, which had opened only the previous week. We found a compartment and settled into plush seats with a complimentary glass of uh, rosé to grace the trip. If I ever had the ability to, uh... Uh, go back in time, that is. If I ever had the ability to go back in time and afford it, I would, I would call up Union Pacific and go, I need one of the big boys. One of the American Locomotive Company's 4,000 class, 4, 
884s. It is a four, uh, four guiding wheels, eight driven wheels, and then four trailing wheels on the locomotive itself. It is the firebox alone is like 750 square feet. That is the size of a New York apartment. And back in 1941, it was $285,000, which in today's money is like $4 million. <laughs> uh, the houses flew, uh, the hours flew by, and I spent them in conversation trying to gather information for our next leg. I made a charming French master and had a pleasant, if unproductive, conversation, whom I quickly abandoned. Uh, the train rattled on, arriving in Nice. Later in the evening, we stepped out to balmy autumn weather and a gentle murmur in the air. Ah, my friends. The sea. But yeah, I would, um, if I had the ability to, I'd go back in time. I'd, mm, I'd somehow manage to convince. No, I don't. I don't want to sell the rifle. Wait, how much? How much is nice? Well, we won't know until seven a.m. Um, I I would call up Western Union and have them build me one. Sorry, not Western Union. Western Union's a bank, or whatever. Um, Union Pacific, I meant. Um, the long, pebbled beaches of Nice were filled with Italians of one sort or another. A few selling sweet pastries, which tasted of almond and butter. I munched contently. And then retired early. Here, your friends are now going down a touch. Didn't know this what they were for, but whatever. Uh. But yeah, I... Hold on a second. Okay, I'm all better now. I had to pick something out of my teeth. With, uh, one of those little floss... Um, one of those little floss devices that has a pick on the end with a... With a little bit of string with a little bit of floss and all that. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'd call up Union Pacific. I'd order myself a big boy. I know they probably wouldn't, but they wouldn't do it. But if I if I shot enough money their way, they'd probably do anything. I, I'd get the big boy and then I'd hide it somewhere. Whether I'd had to build track a, a, a private track off to a um, a piece of land, or whatever, and then removed the track, um, and I'd leave the train in a building, a very well built building, um, until, like, today, uh, modern, 27 to 20, 2017 to 2018, Maybe 2015 to 2018. And I'd go back and I'd find the train and I'd pull it out and I'd have it restored. And I'd have my own Union Pacific big boy. Because I think there's like eight total in existence now. So, yeah. 570 bucks. Fuck that. Um, wait a minute, is it, wait, can I, can I not buy a second suitcase here? Holy shit, I didn't realize that. Holy shit, um... Let's go exploring, seeing where I can go. And then... For 
looking east, we can go to Venice and then Rome. I can go to Venice today. Yeah, it took a few hours to explore, investigating the various options for how we might continue our journey. Venice by car or the Blue Line Ferry. Um, wait, I can, uh, by 4 p.m., I can go to the bank, have them take, or er, put money out for me, so I can go pick it up tomorrow, Monday, oh, right, the weekend, shit, um, I guess you'll figure out what we're going to do in the next video. Um, for right now, I think I'm going to end it here so I can go get some sleep. And you know what? This will be t uh, today's episode because fuck it. By the way, today is four le er, to 11, February 11th, 2018. Anyway, guys, uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It's free. It's easy and supports me quite a lot. Um, if you subscribe... if if you like what I do, and like my stuff and all that, uh, please consider subscribing. It's also free. It's also easy. It also supports me quite a hell of a lot. Um, I like hearing from you guys in the description down below. Uh, so don't be afraid to put shit there. Um, and yeah, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great, wonderful day. Bye-bye.